Okay, Michael, your own little video. So this, like it says, turns it on and off. Also controls the loudness. It's as simple as that. There's a three-step volume on here, so if you have it lower to begin with, it never gets really loud. Also, this is your station select. You want to change the channel, you push that. The only difference between this and when it's on phono, this is still loudness and on-off, but the station select advances the record, so it does the reject cycle. So I'll give you a demonstration. Turned it on. It's that simple. This does the same thing. So we'll turn it back now. If you have it off here, none of it works. So that has to be on. That's your off button. So we'll turn it back on. We'll keep it at low volume. Now we want to change the channel. We simply change the channel. If you turn this all the way to the left, I think, it'll be too sensitive and not stop on any channels except maybe super strong ones. See how it's not stopping on anything? So I turn this clockwise, it's going to stop. You can adjust that as needed. Now power tuning is also this button. Actually beats having to turn that. Channels that are really strong, when you press this, it will it might hover over that channel two or three times. Alright, now you want to listen to a record. So play your records like you normally would. But the, you have to have it on phono, obviously. You just play your record like you normally would. Just like that. The only advantage is if you got a stack of records and you're tired of one song and want to move on to the next, that's when you use a remote. You just do this. Instead of channel station select, it's record select. It's just that simple. I don't think I'll be able to send you this video. So I have to put it on YouTube. Cheers.